other way, if I if I didn't get those blotchy bits there, and I didn't like that edge, the other thing I could do there is cut this out really fine, really carefully, and then shinkle lay that into a nice piece of paper. Mm. Yeah, so, so you do clean up the yeah. edge. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that, but I've forgotten it. Okay, so some glue here, some clay. I'll do it now. Oh, no, yummy, okay. Yeah, some I'll grab some scissors and do it now. There's some scissors here. There's a handy trick for uh, messy printmakers. Yeah. Well, I was thinking also you could shink a lot of drawings into prints. You, know, you, you should, you can shink a lot of anything and into that it. That would be just great to wait when the person. Another thing I find really cool to shink a lot into a print is if you screen print onto tissue paper. Yeah. Then you shink clay and it sort of comes through. Oh, onto white tissue cool paper. It comes oh. onto whatever you've got. That sort of brought my pen and paper with me before. So you shink, yeah. So that turns out really cool because the shink clay, um, yeah, the tissue paper, because yeah. you can see through the tissue yeah, paper. Yeah, it And if you shink clay over an etching, mm. then you get like a double image. And the double image is kind of fun. So, here's how Shinkalay works. You've got to find a plate exactly the same size. We'll do this clay here. Oh, did you want me to get the other paper out or have you done that? I've done that. So that plate's just a clean plate? It's a clean plate, nothing on it. All we're using that plate for is to push it into place. I might mix those. One of those, we don't want those in the, our print. <laughs> so all the plate is doing is uh, just pushing it up into it. The only reason I'm putting it there is so I can sort of get the paper fairly even. Close enough. There we go. Take the shit back in the port side. Let that dry. It's pretty so amazing, that's isn't it? The shinker line. I've taken a lot of the edges off, it's yeah. cleaned up the edges. Lovely. Yeah, now what I could do, the bits of paper that pulled off, if I really wanted to, I could get it. Watercolour, mm, just a bit touch up a little bit of that, yeah. and just yeah, clean it up a little bit. You can see the red is sort of out that way. If it's just that way, just a little bit more, it would have been good. But sometimes, and this is what I used to like about those old comics from the 60s, they are out of registration. It's sort of like movement lines, it's sort of this shimmery. Mm. So there you go, print done.